1. Nisun Rubber Estate Haunted by Pontianaks waiting on residence balconies and doorsteps Calling out to those fishing at the canal or staring at people crossing through Sembawang Park Sembawang is where Thini Soon Rubber Estate used to sit Yup, but that's a whole field of rubber trees Which are known to both favored residents of these aristless female vampire ghosts they sure love those trees tear spirits apparently still remain even though the estate has since been clear to make way for flats and industrial buildings. 2. Palau Taekong Haunted by among many others, the ghost of a disembowelled recruit, a white, long-haired figure at Jacob's Ladder and a grandma and grandson Duao wander the bunks at night to disturb sleepless recruits. There's no saying if the ghost story shaped roots in the early history of the island when it was inhabited by a majority Chinese population, or if they sprang up after Taekong was taken over for military use. But these spooky story shape become something of a rite of passage for fresh recruits. Just ask anyone who's gone through national service and they'll have a tale or tento tell you about Taekong. 3. Old Tampines Road Haunted by Pontianic's Yup, more than one apparently, the vengeful spirits of women who have died during their pregnancy or childbirth that continue to linger in the area. While there is no official recorded history as with most ghost stories, many riders and cyclists have said to feel extra weight when passing through the long and quiet stretch late at night. On top of that, there is always a sweet, floral scent lingering in the air during these incidents. 4. Matilda House Haunted by no one actually knows, there were rumors that there was a lady with long hair in the trees in the surrounding area and that some workers actually did while working at Matilda House. Matilda House was built in 190 to buy Irish lawyer Alexander Cashin for his wife and was named after his mother. The house stayed in the Cashin family for a while until it was left abandoned before the government acquired it. Legend has it that the house refused to be demolished with story as saying unexplained forces would always get in the way of tearing down the house or any major renovations. 5. Every Singapore School Haunted by spirits of girls who committed suicide on toilets, shadowy figures especially in the design and technology block, Pontianucks with a penchant for education. There really is no science behind it but every school in Singapore seems to have its own spooky stories. Just ask your friends about their own school horror stories and you will notice there will be some parallels. 6. National Museum of Singapore The wandering spirit of former museum director, British doctor and naturalist Carl Alexander Gibson Hillwo's death was regarded as suicide. We don't know the exact tale but many have claimed to have seen and felt unnatural forces at the notorious Victorian-style spiral staircase which has a reputation for being the most haunted spot in the century-old museum. 7. Bidduk Reservoir Haunted by the restless souls that took their lives at this infamous reservoir. Considered a suicide destination, Bidduk Reservoir has met six suicides between 2011 to 2012 where the sixth body was found on the morning of an inter-religious blessing ceremony. The blessing ceremony was organized to rid the evil that surrounds the area. 8. Cuber Kasim Haunted by the Orang Banyana supernatural human-like creature from Malay folklore. It's also said that a Pontianic resides here and was the inspiration behind the Malay classic film Pontianic. If the name doesn't strike you as uncanny, get this, Siglap literally means dark one. Aptly named after an incident that involves a solar eclipse in 181, the quaint neighborhood has a dark, creepy past and is home to Cuber Kasim, a 90-year-old Malay cemetery. And if you look hard enough, you'll be able to spot grave plots dedicated to the Warring Bunian. 9. Santosa Island 
haunted by the ghostly soldiers that are seen at quieter spots on the island. Santosa was formerly known as Bulao Belacan Matu which translates to Back Island of Death. Many executions took places in the island's pristine beaches during World War II when Singapore was under the Japanese occupation which explains the sightings. 10. Wood Nuke House Haunted by creepy sightings did include random shadows, spirits, poltergeists and even phantom scents. Previously known as Astana Wood Nuke, this now-abandoned house is located in the deep woods of the Holland Road and Tiersel Road area. It was once occupied by a Sultan of Dar, but now remains empty and covered in vegetation and decay. What's creepier is the fact that the spot is not charted on the map of Singapore and is, therefore, out of bounds. 11. Old Changi Hospital Haunted by the restless cells of those who were tortured to death or executed by the Japanese during World War II, as well as a security guard who used to work there. Used by the Kenpei Tai Japanese military police to hold more than 5000 allied prisoners of war in as a torture chamber during the Japanese occupation. It was vacated in 1997, four decades after it was first built, when the new Changi General Hospital was opened. The abandoned building still stands and occasional ghost tours are held there, which has added to its reputation of being one of the spookiest places in Singapore. 12. Amber Beacon at East Coast Park Haunted by the restless spirit of a young woman who was supposedly raped and murdered there still lingers on the steps of the spiral staircase. A local couple was stabbed by two unknown assailants while chatting on the steps of the tower in 1992. The woman, then only 21, died before the police arrived, although there was no evidence at all suggest that she was raped. The murder remains unsolved to this day. 13. Bukit Brown Cemetery Haunted by Pontianax, Singapore's favorite female spirit, Bukit Brown Cemetery, otherwise known as Kopi Sua, is one of the oldest Chinese cemeteries in Singapore and is home to over 100,000 tombs. So it makes sense that this place will give you the heebie-jeebies. 14. Neo Tiu Estate Haunted by a Pontianica spirit of a banana tree one of the scarier supernatural beings in Malay folklore. Who has been trapped there since a gambler refused to remove the seven pins placed in the tree to coerce it into helping him win the lottery. Named after the businessman Wo helped develop Thelem Chikang area in the early 20th century. The abandoned estate comprising a trio of three-story blocks, a wet market and a playground was built in 1979 and is currently used for urban warfare training by the Singapore Armed Forces after being sold and blocked in 2002. 15. Sionin Jinja Haunted by the spirits of the Japanese soldiers who committed mass ritual suicide via seppuku literally belly cutting to preserve shrine sanctity. Built in 1940 to buy British prisoners of war and Japanese soldiers, the shrine was dedicated to the Shinto Sen goddess Amaterasuin used to commemorate fallen Japanese soldiers. It was demolished following the Japanese Imperial Army's surrender but legends persist that a massive treasure, most popularly believed to be fabled Yamashita's gold plunder during the Southeast Asian campaign remains hidden there. 16. Bishan MRT Haunted by phantom passengers who do not cast any reflections in the windows and, according to construction workers who built the station, a funeral procession on the train tracks with a headless ghost. The station and the surrounding housing estates were built on the site of the former Kwan Wai Supak Sanang, one of the largest Chinese cemeteries in Singapore before it was exhumed in 1982. 17. Ha Par Villa 
haunted by as if they weren't scary enough during the day. The wax statues depicting condemned souls are said to come to life at night, filling the infamous Ten Courts of Hell exhibit with tortured screams. The Burmese Aw brothers, who made their fortune selling the Tiger Bomb Heat Rub, lent their first names Ha Tiger and Pa Leopard to the theme park, where children could learn about traditional Chinese myths through the vivid wax dioramas. It's truly one of the more bizarre corners of the island and no wonder people think it's haunted. 18. The Devil's Bend at Old Upper Thompson Road Haunted by the spirits of drivers who were killed while trying to navigate this tricky hairpin bend. Part of the race route of the original Singapore Grand Prix which was held from 1961 to 1974. Until it was discontinued due to its high fatality rate the poorly lit stretch is still a favorite haunt for illegal street racers and thrill seekers. The most recent accident claimed the lives of two passengers when the car they were traveling in plunged into a ditch in 2008. 19. Navana MRT Haunted by numerous sightings of headless apparitions have been reported at the underpass linking it to the Inland Revenue Authority of Singapore building. Another MRT station built on the grounds of a former cemetery. In this case, its history is tied to its name, which originated with the weekly Catholic Novena prayer sessions held at the nearby Church of Street Alphonsus also known as the Novena Church. It was used as a Jewish cemetery until its exhumation in 1985. 20. Changi Beach Haunted by the screams and cries for help of the civilians executed by Japanese soldiers during World War II. In one of the first massacres carried out during the infamous Sukhching Operation Literally Cleansing Purge in Mandarin, 66 Chinese men were executed by firing squad at the water's edge in February 20, 1942. In a land-scarce city that hardly sleeps, even the dead can't always find a proper resting place. We wander across the island in search of the most haunted places. Take note, while some are free and easy for you to explore, some of these spots are located in state land or private property so we wouldn't recommend checking it out lest you get caught by something scarier than the ghouls, law enforcement.